Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's doing good and everybody's fine. Everybody's having a lovely day, you know? I want to appreciate you guys supporting me, all the subscribers. Um, today, I thought I'd make a short video about how we can save some food and save some money and some groceries, you know? I know price with all the inflation going on in the world, the war in the Ukraine, the pandemic. I know some people out there struggling when it comes to food costs, you know, keeping a budget. So that's some of the stuff um, I'm gonna try to talk about today, about some tricks and tips and how to save money when you go to the grocery store. And so you're not burning a hole through your wallet. All right, here we go. So let's get down to it. So this one is pretty much uh, save and shop on a budget, really. So did you know that you can save up to 25% on food, groceries, by buying generic brands at any grocery store, pretty much, right? Now, I know that some people don't like to get the generic stuff because they think that it doesn't taste the same, you know, it's different. You know, there's always ways around that than buying the brand name stuff right now. Plus, uh, you'll be saving more in your wallet than buying the brand name stuff where essentially you might not need it right now, you know? So yeah, that's essentially up to 25% on your grocery bills right there, just by buying generic food products from your grocery store and keeping away from the name brand stuff. So now down to it, we got number two on my list and it's all about pretty much making a grocery list. That's one of the top things. You can save up to about 23% on your grocery, your, on your shopping list just by simply marking down what you're gonna buy before you get into a grocery store. You know, try to eliminate all the, what do you call it there? All that unnecessary stuff that you'll pick up that you don't need, essentially. So, from some of my research, I've, a study by the University of Pennsylvania shows that people who avoid impulse spending on stuff that they don't need on food costs, right? They can save up to 23% on their grocery bills. Now that's huge. I don't know about you, but that's money I can keep in my pocket and spend on something else that, you know, plus summer is coming, I can use that money, go to the beach, buy me an ice cream or something. So number three on my list, it'll be eating more fruits and vegetables, right? You can shrink your grocery bills by at least 25% and slim down at the same time by adding more veg vegetables and fruits to your snack and meals. Make sense? You're getting healthy, you're saving money, and you're getting slimmer. And you don't have to go to the gym that often. Just saying. Food for thought. Now, number four on my list is, I know a lot of you don't necessarily have, depends on where you're living, your situation, you might not have a lot of discount grocery stores around you. But if you can find those discounted stores, definitely, especially in 2022, shop at those stores. You know, they might not have everything you need in stock, but they'll damn sure have all the generic stuff that you need. And it'll save you a lot of money as well. You could probably save up to like 10% on your grocery bill alone just by shopping at discount grocery stores. Just saying. Now that being said, we got to talk about from the discount stores. We got to talk about your discount discounted um, produce stores. So that can be anything from like Chinatown. You know they got a lot of produce at a discount price, and like farmers market and stuff like that. That's, that's, um, I would say probably.
people on average save up to like 32% on their grocery bills, their fruits and vegetables at farmer's market and any other discounted produce place that you can find on average. I'm saying like even per se farmer's market themselves, like not all of them, you're gonna find the best prices at, but if you can find those gems that you get your produce at a discount price, you'd be saving your lot yourself a lot of money on your grocery bill in 2022. Now, last but not least, something I actually didn't know until I was researching some of this, but did you know you can save up to 10% on your grocery bill by requesting coupons from manufacturers that you actually you buy from? That you normally buy from and all you have to do is pretty much email them right and ask them to send you coupons that they might have I'm baffled I didn't know that 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 is new to me I'm gonna have to get on that and do that myself because that's extra money that I can use for other things I can put it towards my bills you know well I might do a part two of this depends how you guys the feedback from you guys if you guys like it or not you know I I I like food I do food a lot right I work in it I've been working in the industry a lot so I do a lot of that stuff so for me to get more like get you guys to get more food at discounted prices right you can enjoy that stuff I hope that's a blessing to you guys now that's the end of my video thank you guys for coming through watching supporting drop a like subscribe if you like what you see I might do another a part two of this video more discounts and tricks and tips and how to save money when you go to the grocery store and stuff like that and on top of that I've been I'm gonna be posting more food videos um, also gaming stuff because this channel is gonna be focused on games and food two of my passions and I'm not sure yet if I'm gonna keep this background as my setup when I do foods but definitely it's gonna change if I do games and stuff like that so appreciate you guys thank you for coming out peace